just made it back to the pod and I just given another GPS? All right, well, let's check them out. And I will top off my food and water while I'm here as well. Okay. So that needs 50 ice per, and that needs 8 ice per, right? Iron ingots, why is it? Apparently it has a little bit of trouble pulling things, but it's really looking like it needs more gravel. Uh, Alright, let me go in here. I have the beer, I have some water, I have some chips. Let me take off my helmet and drink some sparkling water. Water's up to 100%. Some eyes, chips. Foods at 96%. That's going to be good enough. Oh, look at that. The unknown signal is right over by that bank's claim. Alright, I'm going to head over there. And leave the rest of the chips. And the water. Okay. And the way I go. So while I'm running over there, I guess maybe I can explain some things about what I'm doing with these mods here. Um, as you can see, I'm using uh, MES. Well, that's why I put slash MES in there, although I entered that uh, command wrong. Uh, I'm just trying to, I was trying to see what uh, things are able to spawn around me. And that's because the, the the planetary spawning mods I have are a collection of ones that I've used before where they have a, um, like, abandoned settlements and wasteland encounters. Um, basically, the idea is they can have some crash ships that might... Uh, might have resources for me and with my inability to craft most components i'm really looking forward to being able to use those things oh what is going on over here hey there's some things over there okay let me get the unknown signal it's closest uh, that's another boulder there as well, and then I can see some other grids on the ground there. And then up that way. So the trouble is, I am not really familiar with what these mods are offering anymore, because they've been updated a few times since the last time I really started, you know, using them and got, it, got into them and you figured them out. Oh, special content power. Oh, okay. Uh, I get it. That is one of the signals that has a antenna piece on it. Um, an antenna uh, active, but it's uh, it's a mean grid, uh, not mean. Hostile. That's why it's red. But all of that stuff is interesting. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Cool. All right. Uh, I'll explain it when we can see it. 
the faint signal there is part of what the schematic hunter mod is all about. So let's get this. Alright. Hey, a rainbow helmet. Nice. Um, I think uh, that's the inventory block there, so... Can I? I don't think I can get to it. All right. All right. A bunch of stuff. Nice. Um, I have things to investigate there. I'm not gonna worry too much about all of these bits, especially those radio components are gonna be really heavy. All right. Assert ladybug. Uh, I keep checking because Reavers can spawn here. Alright, so some of these signals are from the GPS. Let me turn that off. Okay, now we've got the faint signal and the bank's claim. So the, the bank's claim is that... There are... Here we go. There's potentially turrets that are going to shoot at me. Like, I see there's one there. Okay. But they look rusted. And I'm not getting shot at yet. If I get start getting shot at, I'll dodge and weave and go serpentine. But uh, yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's get in here. Okay. What's this? Basic assembler, small cargo container. These are this is new. I've not I've not explored something like this before. Okay, well here we've got some parts. Okay. Uh, I don't have room for all that stuff. That's okay. We've got a programmable block. Looked like can't I hit it? Come on. Very oddly placed. And it's a small grid that is static, uh, which is interesting. Okay. Well, let me... Access denied and all of these. So, faint signal. Uh, I know what to expect with that, at least. That means that somewhere on this grid, which is multiple grids, obviously, but somewhere around here is a cargo container that contains a blueprint. And I'm going to guess... That it has to do with this one. 
Now we've got a small cargo container here that's mostly destroyed. Um, my, there we go. Let's do some digging here. Because I don't want to grind away at that and have the stuff fall through the planet by accident. So, that should be able to stop that from happening. Alright, that keeps blinking with the bank's claim thing. Um, Okay, computer, small steel tube, and there it is. I have figured out how to make atmospheric thrusters on a small grid. Small block, small atmospheric thruster. So let's take a look at that. Yeah. I can now make a small grid, small atmospheric thruster. <laughs> atmospheric thruster. Why am I stumbling over my words? But anyway, yeah, that's the, uh... Like, it keeps flashing because it's trying to say I don't have the large grid version of it. I don't. I need to find that still. So, Inventory bulletproof full. glass. All right, um, let's see what else is here, because this is a lot of stuff that I could maybe use. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. That is a large refinery. Road wheel. All right, so... Yeah, I am... That's a large battery? No, that's a... This is large grid. That's a picture of a small grid battery on this picture of this large grid battery. Alright. Alright, uh, I am going to consolidate my stuff. There's a container here. Got some cola chips. Okay, everything on this is, like, off by one. Look at that. That's why it's looking like the antenna is here. I'm going to leave it running just so that I keep getting a blink of that from time to time. Okay. These bits are good. There's another small cargo container here and a basic assembler. Oh, man, they... I don't see a... any options for uh, power generation, though. That's frustrating. bed. Mm. 
All right. Let me see if there's a display and two computers over there, and then I'll just repair it. Hey, a display and computers. There we go. Okay, but why... Uh, I don't know. It's not working right. Inventory full. I figured there'd be stuff in that. All right, solar panels is good. And we're at eight hundred out of max. Oh, the neon tubes are the brackets. I get it. Okay. So, that large refinery is a... a treat. This might be where I try to, like, set up a... a bit of a base. Um... That's going to have some stuff in it, too. Though, honestly, like, this... I would need 11 small steel tubes to get that working right. Did I get 11? Call four. And there's 11. All right, let's see what this does. Access denied. Okay. Um, so I need to grind out the computers and... Do I... Did I... Ring? I did. Let's... Go with character tools and put that one... Alright, I accidentally ground a display and the two computers. But... Now I can put my nice tool back there. One uh, drawback from having it where you can cycle your tools through is, uh, and I need the display. You can't, uh, you can only cycle through your best tools. So if you wanted to intentionally use an inferior tool, you know. All right, large steel tubes. This this is a great large cargo container. All right, and it's not so deep in the ground that I couldn't extract it if I uh, if I have the right tools to do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and consolidate everything here into that one cargo container, and then. Yeah, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, shoot, I just realized how low I was on oxygen, so I'm going to book it back to the uh, survival pod, which is up here. Oh, maybe I'll grind up that on the way. And check out what's in this boulder on the way. And then make my way over to that one. Hey, hey, now. An iron boulder. Perfect. Now I just need to use it. <laughs> uh, and that unknown signal, I pressed the button so it's not going to disappear. But I am running awfully low on oxygen and now power, so yeah. Maybe it'd be a wise idea to carry my oxygen tank around with me.
I really cut this close. I should not have cut this so close. Uh, uh, drink some water while I'm here. Drink some plain cola. Okay. Now, did this finish doing its constructions? Uh, sort of. Oh, because I didn't have enough gravel. Let me grab some more gravel before I head off to that. Inventory full. Alright, getting the last of those steel plates into the food processor. And the sun is going down, so um, I guess that doesn't actually matter. Let's drop this off and that. I'm getting lots of chips. That's nice. Here's some space credits. And... Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have time for that one. I'm... Mm, I'm gonna grab my oxygen bottle. That takes up half my inventory, but uh, that, uh, we'll see. Oh, I don't know if I like the look of that. Whatever it is that's supposed to be where that GPS marker is, is really close to a lava lake, so I don't know, we'll see. If it, uh, if it spawned out inside that lava lake, uh, then it would have all destroyed itself by now. But if there is a blueprint out there, it should tell me if I'm within a kilometer of it. Oh no. I don't see a blueprint. Oof, that's not good. Yeah. Oh man, whatever this was, I think it spawned right on the lava. Dang. Yeah, oof, right there in the middle of the lava. Uh, maybe there's some remnant of it over there. I'll, uh, I'll go check. Yeah, well, that's disappointing. Whatever was maybe once out here has been melted by the lava. Uh, but on the bright side of things, uh, I got another one popped up over that way. So let's see. I'll head this direction. So the 
Yeah. That's where the pod is over that way. This direction. Oh, a merchant is on his way. Okay. Uh, there's the bulldog. Oh, man, of course it's getting dark. <laughs> oh, is that... There it is there. Okay. Um... Let's see if I can get it to follow me up onto the hill up here. Because I don't want it to try and land in the um, in the lava. That would be bad. Fuel critical. Come on. Alright, he's slowly coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for him to get to me. I don't know if they land on top of the spot that you were standing or something else. I just hope he doesn't try and land in the lava. That would be silly. Hey, and there he is. Slowly descending over the hilltop still? What's going on? Oh, he landed. Okay. Or he's near the surface. So, this is another mod that I added. It's uh, mobile merchants. They get spawned and they track you down and offer to sell you things. I think it's pretty cool. Ah, oh, I left all my money back at the container, though. Well, this is neat. Oh, and he has a faint signal in his inventory. Interesting. Access denied. Hmm. Uh, okay. So I could buy gold or iron or nickel steel plate oh this is neat hi there citizen i am here to offer you a fine selection of goods should you have any queries please consult our headquarters so it's a it's a robot block right there so obviously this is a um An automated drone of some variety. Neat. Fuel critical. Yes, I know. My, I hit the button by mistake and it drained. Thank you. Jeez, I don't know if I want to try and take this thing forcibly or not. It's faction. Oh boy, there's a lot of them in here. Oh, they're all different kinds of factions. Uh, this is I M I N. Imperial industry, the best choice for reliable ships of industrial grade. We offer the finest quality money can buy. Oh, 
well, I, I could just, like, I could hack my way into it, maybe, and try and steal the, uh, the thing. Uh, but, no, not going to do it. Not yet. It's, um, okay, so it, I ran in from that direction, Jeez, it was a kilometer. And then they've got that one that's six kilometers out. So I'm going to hoof it to to there. And good morning. I figured I'd run back here and uh, sleep through the night in my cryopod there. Because recording things in the dark is not really that entertaining. Anyway, I have that one to go check out still and that one to delete. Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, uh, food and water first. Well, that's interesting. I knew I was going to be running past the uh, the bank's claim there, but then a faint signal popped up. So I wonder if one of the faint signals uh, won't one of the containers over there that I hadn't opened yet has something in it. Go check it out. Okay. Well, my stuff is still here, right? I repainted it because, you know, cleaned off some of the rust. Yeah. It's a bed. Some panels. Uh, here's the desk. Oh, okay. It's not actually in the ground that far, right? Some grids, some plates, and the faint signal. Small cargo container on a large grid. Okay. Inventory. That's full. gonna be useful. Come, come on. There we go. All right. Well. With a small cargo container, at the very least, now I can do some kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? Conveyoring? Connecting things? Even if I'm connecting it all with cargo containers? Alright. I wonder if that's just because, um, I hadn't claimed that container 
So like, is there another one in here? No, I ground that one out. And then that one I ground out. So maybe there's another one over there that I haven't claimed yet. But let's uh, head over here first. Well, there's still a signal coming from over there, so that's good. Oh. Check in when I can see it behind that hilltop ridge or whatever. Looks like it's down in a valley. Uh, and of course there's lava down there. This isn't good. Oh, but there's a bunch of stuff not on the lava. And a boulder. Check the boulder out. Uh, let's just get closer. That looks... What have we got going on over there? There's something large grid, uh, another gun embankment, hopefully also rotted out. And is that a buggy? That is a buggy, holy cow. All right, so this whole three mixed signals. God, look at that. Okay, the 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 scrap thing has hugely developed since I last looked at it. This thing is a an entire buggy. We got all right. Small cargo containers, uh, a chair, tires that need large steel tubes. Um, motor suspensions that are intact and functioning. Wheels. Got the antenna and a, is that a remote control block under the antenna, I think. Yeah. Ooh, a gyroscope. So here's the problem. Like, if I start to hack this, I don't have the computers and the displays with me to restore it. And I don't know if it has any power. Let's, uh, tools. Um, let's check what's over here. There's the display. One of those. And a bunch of computers. Okay. Let's see. Can I... Oh, I needed four displays. Alright, let's be really gentle with this. Do I actually have my other... No, but there was one here. Oops. Yeah. Character tools. Okay. I need those displays. That is way out there. Oh, 
Oh boy. I am in a buggy. Apparently I've got seven hours of power here. Alright, I've got a second cockpit, the AI control module, gyroscope, off-wheel, small batteries, small batteries, anything hidden? No. Programmable block? Okay. Current stored power. Max stored power. Current output. Stored power. 10.68 out of 50. Alright. Parking engaged. Alright. You know what? Having a buggy here, there's a blueprint inside of one of these cargo containers, I bet. Um, why? That's the button. Total required power, total available 1.8 megawatts. So I should be able to go. Why is it engaged? Cycling the power on and off. Convert to ship. It's not possible. Oh, look at that. It is a static grid somehow. I'm gonna see about Those wheels don't look right. Well, if I can't get this thing working, uh, then I'm a little SOL, because I am, you know, I, I, not SOL, not entirely. I just don't have a lot of alternative options in terms of uh, mobility, right? Because I don't know what that is. Yeah, but, like, the chances of getting another buggy up and running right away seems super small. I'm going to try and figure this out, and uh, I'll bring it back in a second. Aha! Uh -huh. Those wheels are not actually wheels. All 
All right. So here's the deal. I'm going to slowly take over this grid bit by bit, hopefully not demolishing anything. I needed to I wanted to climb underneath here and take a look at that AI control module, see if that was what was the issue. Um but man, I can't I think what I need to do is run back and forth to the survival kit get the pieces I would need to get this working correctly uh, and I'm gonna work on that yeah look see it's not actually attached there it's attached here ouch yeah all right figure it out and I will bring you guys you know what no actually I think I'm gonna do is end the episode for today you guys have a pretty good idea of what I've got going on in this world so far and uh, I'm gonna see what happens next time when I uh, continue with the next episode of survival records in season three uh, and the igneous world thanks for watching